today we are featuring a 2006 Namco Rockin' Bowlerama. Uh, it's a pretty cute game. Um, pick your players. You can get up to four players. You can pick your games. Uh, you have plenty to choose from. There's also some poker based games thrown in there as well. Um, if you don't like the music, you can change the music, you can reject it. But everything's kind of all 50s themed. It kind of looks like a robot from the Jetsons. You can pick your balls. You can pick your balls. Um, you can go to the pro shop. You can also, while you're playing the games, do like tricks and spins. And it's fairly accurate. It's fairly accurate to actual bowling. It's friggin' hard. It is hard. I have a tough time with it. Uh, there's also two cup holders for your beers. Uh, also two cigarette ashtrays that spin when you press down on them. I like it. Uh, it looks brand new. It does. It does. Thanks to Ray. Ray did it again. Yep. Yes, he did. Ray, would you like to actually tell the fine folks uh, what Ray, you did over here? here? Okay. It's an Anko Rock and Roll Rama. Yep. Uh, what I did to it was <clears throat> most of the maintenance stuff that they need after they've been around it for years. <clears throat> it's okay, you're sick. Um, you're not as bad as you sound. Yeah. Time out. 3,000 subscribers, right? What, what do you think? It's Mark. That's crazy. <laughs> we better give him something. <laughs> we were going to go away. <laughs> okay, that thing looks like it's new out of the box, man. Tell us about how that happened. These are still available new, these ashtrays, they were all broke away, there was no... What's the show? What's the supplier there? Uh, half the things. Okay. You know, the LED, the uh, panel here with cool lights. Okay. Polish the aluminum here. Yes. And uh, clean the trackball area. Clean the trackball area? Yeah, it gets dirty and people spill stuff. I thought you put a new one in. No. You didn't, because we talked about it. Yeah, I was going to put a new one in. Huh? They do not make black. No. Oh. And I didn't want a, a white ball here. So you took it all apart and I thought it was new because it plays like it's new. Well, I was going to put a white one in because I even bought it. But it, it looks stupid. Okay. Because bowling ball, bowling ball is black. <laughs> yeah, even the custom balls. Okay. Coin to area, refurb. Um, and this thing was dirty and of course I polished this. Um, really around here. Coin door looks, looks new. Yeah. Standard pinball door. It needed this standard work. Okay. And there was some hardware. What's a CX500? Oh, that's the power supply I put in. Yeah, you just walked. That is a 500 watt power supply. That was this, easy to find. You just walked into like Micro Center and you just grabbed whatever off the shelf no. and stuffed it in there, right? This thing takes a specific power supply. Oh. Not in size of wattage, but in terms, it has to have a rocker on and off switch. Unless you want to unplug the game all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, and it takes a certain size, so I had to dig around um, in Micro Center to find the one that fits this cabinet because the, the switch hangs up the bottom. It was complicated to get in. Yeah, well, you can see it's molded here. Yeah. And it has to have the plug here and the switch alongside of it, so it's very special. And the fan. That was special. What else did you do to this thing? So this power supply is like twice the wattage it needs. Um, the motherboard uh, basically was uh, part of the reason why it wasn't working. It needed a battery done, cleaned, and uh, the memory didn't service. You know, I like using that fiberglass brush. Okay, corrosion on it. Some really, contacts. what was downing the game was the software. It was software not, crash. Not right, yeah. So I had to get new software and take the monitor apart, clean it all, clean it. Because uh, there's glass in front of the monitor, so I clean everything. Um, cosmetically, it, it needed everything done. It was dirty. And it had cigarette smoke and it cleaned up very well. It looks brand new. I, I like it a lot. So, what was done to it? What was done to it will make it playable for years. You know, some of so. Looks like a million bucks. Yeah. I, if I had room for it, I'd take it. It's a great little piece. Doesn't take up a lot of uh, floor space, and it's definitely retro. It's cool. Well, I first saw it at uh, the the Nick's Game Room tour because he had one, and uh, 
and we all kind of just thought, wow, that unit's really cute. I'd never seen one before. Yeah, Nick got that from Steve, and Steve got it from Bill, and I fixed it for Steve because, like everything else, I mean, sometimes. And this one came from God only knows where because it didn't work and it was tired. Yeah, it was dirty and disgusting. It was bad. So, yeah. Okay. That's all. That's all we need for this, Ray. The in the back. Yeah, I took pictures of it all the way around. Did you take it yeah, I took pictures of everything. It's about as pretty, like, it's about as new as it's going to get. What do you think of my price on there? Is it fair? You don't have to tell what it is. But just tell me if my price is fair. That's fair, right? Okay, sweet. That's all on this. Let's move on to the next. Back to you. Melanie had the, has the control desk on this one. Yeah. Wow, right? Thanks. <laughs> this no would be great. It looks new. Yeah, right. Uh, this would be great for any man cave or you know any game room that you have. It's it's not too big. It would it would fit great. Is it great? I like it. I like it too. Uh, I think it's a great looking high end piece. It's hard. I can't get. I can't get it yet. It's tough. Which is good. It's a challenge. You won't get tired of it. When is it available? Right now. It is ready for delivery. Buying season's coming up. Christmas. You want it? I'm getting the, uh, what are those called? Uh, the energy Jazz. fingers? Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> Hey, 